you gotta give it a little bit of time, right? Yeah, absolutely. Remember when all of, everyone was talking about Shulk, and yeah. then all of a sudden Shulk's just start exploding everywhere? He's able to do so much, but we finally, we got Cosmos coming in. His most notable win, I will say, is when he beat Hard DK. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was actually the sickest event at Clash of the Panda uh, just on Saturday. That was my, literally actually my favorite part of the event was Hard DK uh, side events. Yeah, we're doing some. Pros going against the uh, Alpha Rats uh, level 50 amiibo. Uh, it's Pretty so funny. good. But Cosmos, his inkling is definitely not something to laugh about. It's such a good character yeah. that he's been able to really do. And especially the fact he's able to get all these options. And Rival already at 77% struggling. And Zero Suit, oh, God. She, she's been such like in high debate whether she's like mid tier, high tier. Because like everyone's just saying Mars is the one getting the results. And the hoo ha coming into play. Yep, up throw the up air, confirmation coming through for Cosmos and having a massive lead at only 20. 3% on his own stock. But as you were saying, yeah, it's been a debate whether or not TSS is high tier or low tier, or mid tier or whatever. People are like, zero suit, a lot of the Zero Suit Samus mains are the ones saying she sucks. I personally do not believe that. I, I really think like they're memeing and uh, the character's actually really good. I, I think she can do really well, but especially the fact that Cosmos has faced against TSS before. He's got that matchup experience. Yeah, exactly. And especially the fact you saw at the beginning, Cosmos was literally baiting out the grab from Rival because it's so punishable and such a move they can exploit. And Rival already struggling in this matchup. Cosmos, look at this play that he's doing right now, using the jab to knock it off. Rival really struggling. Oh, goodness. All right, just shielding at the ledge. Here's another up throw, Boom. up air, confirming, and only 79%. I mean, Rival's barely been able to tack on any damage on these stocks. You know what it reminds me of? That up throw, up air? Yeah. It reminds me of Chag when he came into invaded SoCal, oh, yeah. and he got every single time. He was able to get every single confirm possible. Cosmos is wilding on him right now. Almost got that down air, but Rival seems to be the one that struck. Oh, oh he baited it. Yep. Smart punish too. Oh, he's gone. Right into the blast zone. I think Rival just DI'd into the blast zone at that time because he's like, all right, I'm done. Less than two yeah. minutes, that was a three stock. Yeah, that was crazy, man. Cosmos with the three stock though. Well, oh, wait, two stocks or three stocks? Did I did he lose a stock? Three stock. Three stock? That was yeah. a three stock. That was, that was crazy. Like, I was like trying to remember, did he take a stock? Yeah. I don't think he did. And Cosmos was like, not only was he just like wilding on with all these combos, he knew exactly Rival was going to do from the get-go. He knew that ZSS loves to go for the up yet a shield. Cosmos just held shield and simply just waited for him and simply just got all that damage yeah. down. I think Rival is definitely thinking about his like character choice or map stage choice because he's got plenty of time to think about that one. Yeah. Yeah, I like, I mean, maybe even beyond the stage choice because as you can see, he just goes right back to PS2. I like that Rival is taking his time to really just think through what happened, right? Like, what, where did I go wrong? Where can I make these adjustments to at least take a stock? It looked pretty rough out there. Yeah, get your mentals back yeah. in check, right? You gotta do that, but a little bit safer. I would say, oh, he just grabbed him out of that down special. Goodness, Cosmo's not a different level. I love seeing these top players do Oh, so no, well. no, no, Rival, come on, you gotta get out of here. <laughs> he was <laughs> trying to... <laughs> He was just trying to hold shield, but I feel like he was like, he, what he should have been doing was holding out to get that SDI and immediately escape. But now look at him, he's completely inked up. He took way too much damage. He's gonna wanna be super careful here because ink on you means that you're gonna take more damage and get confirmed into way more ink. You don't understand, Rival looked at me. He, he was, was, he was yeah, controller. he was holding the controller. <laughs> He was showing us, he's like, I'm pressing the trigger, man, where's my shield? Where's my shield at? But, but I, I'm telling you, Rival, like, if you look, if you go back and look at this, you should have held out. You got to DI away yeah. from that, too. That's like the players here, just like, what's going on as they DI into yeah. that rapid jab? Like, oh, what's going on, man? But definitely Rival, he's got to do something right now. And look at this, and Cosmos performing so well, looking for a grab, knowing that it leads to so much damage. And he's just simply able to use his arrows to simply snuff it out. Oh, nice edge guard. <laughs> wow, he had already hit him out of the jump and just dipped low. Hit him with that initial hitbox of the up B. Are we gonna see the double three yeah, stop? Cosmos is definitely working on it right here. Uh, Cosmos wants to add that to his little resume. He baited it out the air dodge as well. Using the up throw nair combo, trying to land a grab down. He knew he would spot dodge. He waited for it as well. He's simply just styling on him right now. He tried to use the roller to read the roll, I would say. Oh my goodness, rival. Struggling. Vibe check, vibe check. He, he, he said, I, I saw him tweet, he's like, every time I use roller, I say it in my head. That's why That's why I've been more precise with them. Oh, God, oh, man. The kicks. It's another three stock for Cosmos, man, coming through with 
the 2-0 victory. And with that, I'm going to take the opportunity.